new question. What is the rate constant for the reaction if all you're given is a table of data? Well, the first step is to figure out what order the reaction is. In that case, I want you to make two columns, ln a and 1 over a, crunch the numbers for all the, for the entire columns, and then figure out which set of data has the first differences being constant. Luckily for you, I've already done that and found that it's a first order reaction. And the key to finding the rate constant is knowing the rate law for a first order reaction. What this rate law is, or rather what it means, is that the concentration of the reactant at any time can be calculated if you know the concentration of the reactant at the very beginning. That's what this little subscript zero is. It's called A naught, and it's the initial concentration of reactant. E, which is a mathematical constant on your calculator, K is the rate constant for the reaction, and T is the amount of time that's gone by. Luckily for you, you have some concentration and time data. So let's just use, uh, I'm going to use the first data point and the last data point here. Let's just keep those in mind. Maybe I'll write it off to the side like this. Where are we here? OK. Taking a look at my equation, the concentration of reactant at any particular time. I'm going to pick the 80 here. 3.06 equals the initial concentration of reactant. In this case, the initial concentration is 5 times e to the negative k. I don't know what that is. That's why they're asking for it. And time. The time that it's at 3.06 is 80 seconds, it says. So I'm just going to have to keep that one in mind. Uh, 80 seconds. Done. There's no exponent there. That was me being a, a loser. Now I just got to solve for k. Easier said than done, but I'll show you how. First thing, get rid of the f number in front of the e. Divide both sides by 5. 3.06 divided by 5 gives me 0.612 is e to the negative k times, I'm just going to truncate that to 80. The question is, how do you undo the e? And the answer is, if you want to get rid of the e and just make this negative k times 80, you take the ln of this, ln 0.612 little math trick there. Accept it. The ln of that number is, turns out to be negative 0.491. And to solve for my k, all I have to do is divide both sides by negative 80. Look, it cancels right out. Uh, what I get is that k is, oh man, I lost my number. It was the ln of point six one two. it was this number here and then I had to divide that by negative 80. 6.14 times 10 to the negative 3. Done! Tricks to doing this question of finding the rate constant given a table of data. Know the rate law for the reaction, and you have to know the order of the reaction before you do that. Solve for k once you plug in some concentration and time data. Don't forget your initial concentration goes here. And to undo e to the power of, you just take the ln of both sides. It'll, if you take the ln of the one side, the e will just fall off the other side. It's a law of logarithms, just trust me. Best of luck.